Fans of Bob's Burgers, you are in luck because there is finally a movie coming out this week that many of you guys will probably enjoy. As someone who's not really the biggest fan of this, I can went in with a pretty, like, you know, this could be fun. I think the show's fun at times. I'm not a religious viewer of it, but I gotta say, I just found it to be okay. What's going on, buddy? Welcome back to a brand new movie review. Today, we're going to be discussing the Bob's Burger movie, and this is about the Belchers trying to save the restaurant from closing as a sinkhole forms in front of it while the kids try to solve a mystery that could save their family's restaurants. Once again, it has everyone involved with the show participating in this from writing, directing, animating, and of course, even starring. Something I just got to give a shout out to, because when it comes down to animated movies like this, you in particular don't get this sort of thing. Sometimes they have to cram other actors in here that really have never been a part of the franchise before and this time it's everyone that's the original creators all on board for me i appreciate that and i think there are good elements in here for fans of bob's burgers who are probably going to really enjoy this more than i did and for people who maybe aren't the biggest fan of it and that's where i'm here to say let's get the straight up expectations if you have never watched bob's burgers i don't know if this will be flat out for you if you are someone who absolutely hates bob's burgers this is not going to change your opinion whatsoever if you're kind of like me, who has seen episodes of it and have very much enjoyed it at times, or like me, and you have watched certain episodes and found it to be fun at times, you'll get that same vibe from here. You'll feel like it's fun. But if you love Bob's Burgers, you're going to love this. I took a friend of mine who is pretty into it, not hugely, but he's way more than I am, and he enjoyed it a little bit more than I did. And we're going to talk about this a lot in just one second. So starting... Now, here is a word from our sponsor. Oh, hey guys, my name is Zach. I'm a different version of the Zach you were just watching. This version of Zach from a different multiverse is talking about Western Rise today, the proud sponsor of this video. Western Rise has some amazing pants called the Evolution Pants, ones that I've switched up because these old pairs of khakis I have, huh, throw those away. They're too stiff, they stretch out, they don't last long, and really much when I live in Arizona where it's hot as hell, those pants do not help. About a year ago, I actually upgraded to Western Rise's Evolution pants and they changed my life. I just ordered two other pairs because they're having their summer special right now. You can get 25% off using their code SUMMER. They're stretch, they're stain resistant, and they're water resistant. There was one time where I dropped my energy drink all over my crotch. Could have looked like I peed my pants and I didn't. Thank God, because I was at work. Other than that, guys, definitely go check out their sale right now. It's their summer sale. Get yourself some good pants. And of course, I'll catch you guys soon in the next video. Just one second. So starting with my pros and really much diving into this and what my biggest elements of this, one of my biggest things that I loved about this was 2D animation. I miss this in the theaters. And this movie just goes as far to show why it is so special. And you can truly see why the budget wins. The animation in here is spec. Spectacular. From what I had seen from the show to this, it is hands down a drastically bigger thing. And I know 2D animation, you know, it's tiny little details here and there that really add to the frequency of this, but big props have to be given to that. As well as there are two subplots going on in here. One of saving the restaurant and one of kind of another way that maybe save the restaurant. And one involves the kids and one involves the parents. I found the kids one to be a little bit more important to the overall story, and I wish the actual whole entire family was a part of that. Comparably, though, I actually found the adult storyline to be a little bit more fun in itself because it resembled more of what the show actually is. And I feel like if you were to mix of both and have the family all together overall, it would have brought a vibe that the Simpsons film was able to give a while back, which is very much this grandiose adventure, which I was kind of hoping that this film would have been more like. But in a sense, it really is all in one central location, just like the show. And for me, there is some nice and fun humor in there. And let me just say, Gene, once again, just like in the show, steals a lot of the fantastic moments in here that just had me laughing, smiling, and thoroughly enjoying myself through this movie. And there are jokes in here where I did laugh very hard. And there are jokes and lines that just put a smile on my face that overall surprised me. And that's kind of what Bob's Burgers humor has always done for me is, here and there, there are jokes that really hit and land for me. But this is where I do want to kind of start siding over to my cons. And that comes down to the length of the film. I don't think this story fit for the overall of a movie nature. I don't even think the Bob's Burgers, you know, I, I think like animated films like this should get movies 
but I don't know if the story here warranted an actual film. So I'm going to start jibing over to my cons and really much, I only have a couple things that really much lack in this film. And one of the things is the jokes. Some jokes hit really hard and some hit really flat. Now comedy is very subjective. So everyone's going to be completely different. Again, the Bob's Burger humor isn't totally for me. So that's why not all the jokes hit for me. But there's also a musical element to this, which from my understanding, I don't think the show contains a ton of. And every time those musical numbers came in, I zoned out. I completely zoned out and even so did my friend to the point where I was just kind of like, okay, let's move this along. And it halted the pacing massively to a point that where the film's only an hour and 42 minutes, it made the film feel way longer than it needed to be. And I feel like one musical number to two maybe would have worked, but like there's four in here, maybe more, maybe four. And the last one I can definitely tell you dragged on way too long. There's some funny lines in there. They just don't hit completely for me as well. Adding in there, some of the jokes also are kind of the same way. Comedy is very subjective. So some jokes are going to hit for others. Some will not. I was expecting a little bit more from that. And that really just comes down to the overall story. It makes me think, did Bob's Burgers actually need a movie? The fans would want it. And I appreciate when films get this. I appreciate when The Simpsons was. I appreciated the South Park one. And I appreciate this one for what it was. I don't love this movie. I think it's just fine. And it's okay. Fans will probably really love it. But for me, I just found it to be pretty long. Not warranted its nature of being a film itself. And it's fun. Like, that. that's exactly what it was. It was fun and fine. I would never watch this again. And I think if you're a fan of Bob's Burgers, you'll probably enjoy this for what it is. If you're not the biggest fan, you'll probably enjoy it and be like, yeah, that was cool. Probably never watch it again. It didn't completely blow me away. I did love the animation, but that's why I'm going to give the Bob's Burger movie a C. Do you want to hear what your guys' thoughts are down below in the comment section? So make sure to leave a comment, hit that like, subscribe. And are you fans of Bob's Burgers? Let me know as well, guys. What other animated TV show would you want to see get its own movie? Surprise, we've never actually gotten a Family Guy one. And I'm curious to see if that, if that ever actually happens. But guys, thank you so much again for watching this again. Leave your guys' thoughts. Look out for more movie reviews coming up soon. As well as head on over to Samson Films on how to see films early. But of course, until next time, stay classy.